Hey, it's Wicked Bunnies. And as you can see today, my background is very different because I recently moved. So if you didn't know, I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia, and I've been wanting to move to New York City for so damn long. And finally up here, I'm very happy about it. I've been here for like mm, a few weeks now, three to be precise. I've been wanting to make another YouTube video for a while now, basically since uh, I uploaded the first trip pants video, but obviously, I haven't had the time to because I've been moving, but I'm finally up here. I'm more settled in and hopefully I can upload some more stuff soon. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. So today's topic. So I recently got a new job up here and it's for a secondhand thrift store, trendy vintage like boutique type of thing where my job is to buy clothes for the store. But so this week has been my first week um, and I've just been like, doing training stuff. So I've been doing the usual retail things like uh, organizing clothes, running them, uh, helping customers into dressing rooms. So a few days ago, I was organizing clothes with a coworker and just like a big pile of clothes. And I can't even believe what I found. I found three pieces from Liz Lisa. If you guys don't know what Liz Lisa is, Liz Lisa is a Japanese clothing brand and they sell a lot of kawaii and gyaru fashion. So it's crazy to actually find pieces from them. Like I just, I could not believe what I found. Like I was just freaking out in front of my other coworker and my other coworker was like, <gasps> cause I just, they were at the bottom of this pile. I just kept pulling up cause I just like, I saw like cute, like clothing. I just kept pulling up. And so I found the three pieces and I bought them. I've been trying to do better with my spending problems. Um, I'm a bit of a clothes-holic. So this is sort of like my treat for this entire month and maybe even March because I really don't need any more clothes. <laughs> like girl, I do not have the money for more clothes. Um, no. But like there was absolutely no way I was not buying these clothes. So I put them to the side on holds so that I could buy them after. I mean, there was just so many things that like that I had to buy them for. Like one, it's a Japanese brand. Two, they're very cute. And three, you cannot even believe the deals that I got on those clothes. Now, Liz Lisa new in Japan is expensive. And it can be even more expensive sometimes to just get it used in the US. And literally two of the items I bought are brand stinking new. Like they have tags on them and everything. Like original Japanese tags on them. <laughs> Bitch, I'm... Okay, thank you. Anyway, so enough of me rambling and let me show you the outfit that I wore today for work. So this is what I wore to work today. Um, it's like sort of Lolita inspired and it has sort of like French made and Gothic influence in it. And so I paired this dress, the Liz Lisa dress with this little bunny purse that I bought from AliExpress and this cross, these two cross earrings. This headpiece that I bought from Lolly Gals on AliExpress and I put some butterfly clips to match the earrings. And then I have white socks and I have black shoes that I also bought from AliExpress. So I bought this dress for $22. This was actually the only one that didn't have the original tags on it. So I'm not really sure what the original price was, but I would probably say around 60 to 80 dollars so let's get closer for details and so the the dress kind of looks like it's actually like a two-piece like there's like a blouse and then like a black jumper skirt but no it's all one together and so the, the lace is very pretty there's like roses on it and then it ruffles at the edge there's ruffles over here too and ruffles on the collar and a black bow and then this like sort of black jumper skirt part there's like ruffles here and the buttons are very pretty as well it looks very um i don't know if edwardian would be the correct way to call it but it's definitely very old fashioned and there's white lace around the waist 
and then the black skirt here is pretty simple but there is like a sort of corset detailing right here and oh, these must have gotten untied because I told you I, just, I wore this to work so you would tie that and then that would be a bow and there's a little bit of white lace like there's an underskirt and it looks like a slip and there's like white lace at the bottom of it but yeah that's how this first dress looks like so the next two pieces that i have are a little yellow blouse and like a lolita sort of poncho slash cape like it's it's like a heavy coat so i'm going to show you them right now but when i have the outfits on that'll be future danny because uh, I'll have stuff styled for work. Okay, hi. So this is the yellow blouse slash sweater that I got. And what it looks like from the back. So I bought it for $15. And this is the original tag that came with it. I obviously took it off. And... It says 6900 if it would focus. Nope, it will not focus. Um, <laughs> but it says 6900 yen on it. And if you're wondering how much 6900 yen is like the equivalent of that in USD, um, that's $60. So I saved a lot. Like I legit bought it for one fourth the price. It's insane. Like, I literally cannot believe I got such a good deal on it. It's brand stinking new. I blows my mind. Anyway, I'm going to show you the details of this. Okay. So, see, it's a pretty color. So, the buttons are little yellow flowers, which I find is very cute. And then there's white lace on the side of the buttons. And then there's ruffles on the end of the blouse. On the sleeve, there's ruffles and bows, which I find that so cute. It's like just a little extra detail. I just love things like that. And then there's like ruffles here, very small ruffles. But. And in the back, there is a sheer lace with flower detailing. And that's what the bottom looks like again. But yeah, now it's time to style it. So I'm going to style it in a pastel, like springy type of look, which even though it's not spring weather around here, but that won't stop me. And my job, basically, it's like very warm inside. So I like to wear like short, short sleeve things in there because it can get really hot. So actually, I just kind of threw this top on quickly over this already decor outfit that I was wearing, which you'll probably see on my TikTok. Um, but it actually fits. Like, basically, this video is taking too long because I have work. So I'm like, I haven't had the time to like come up with an outfit for this one. But yeah, honestly, it fits this outfit pretty well and it looks very cute. So this is the final piece that I have. This is the Lolita poncho slash cape. And this was actually the first thing that caught my attention in the giant clothes pile I was going through. So obviously you can see why it grabbed my attention because it's so pink and fluffy and girly. It's like literally everything I love. I paid $25 for it and it has the tags and the button in here and so it says a hundred oh no ten thousand and eight hundred yen which is like roughly a hundred dollars in us dollars so yeah um i paid 25 dollars. so this is like one fifth the original price and it's brand new which crazy like i literally like, cannot believe that i freaking found this stuff like it's like not only is it liz lisa but it's literally brand new i'm sorry i keep saying that it's just it's mind-boggling the material feels pretty nice i don't think it's like wool or anything i think it's like synthetic fibers maybe it could be like acrylic or whatever 
but the hood has white trim fur on around it and there's white trim fur on the bottom and then uh there's little white pom-poms and then there's pink and gold buttons that go down with pink lace on the side that has like little bows on it like there's a little bow pattern and then on the side all around it is like bows again so it's very pretty it's like it's pretty and simple but also it has like a lot of little details so it'll be perfect to put over like a lolita dress which i'm actually going to show you for what i'm going to style my outfit for work i'll be wearing this tomorrow for valentine's day so sort of like a pretty pink flirty type of look so this is the valentine's day court i put together and this is how the little coat poncho thing looks on me and then let me show you how the hood looks as well cute and cuddly and it's perfect for winter um it's not the warmest but like it's kind of my fault for choosing to wear this on a 16 degree day so yeah but it's cute but here's a little twirl for you I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see from me next, please comment below. I really appreciate every view, like, comment, subscriber that I get. Like, I have 100 subscribers right now, which I find crazy because I only have... Well, this is going to be my second video up. But I only have one video up currently at this moment while I'm recording this. And I just... I can't believe that I have 100 for just one video the video also has like 1.7k views which i'm like i can't believe that many people watched it like i literally thought i was gonna get like 100 views at most <laughs> like thank you guys for uh interacting with that video i appreciate that a lot but yes please feel free to leave suggestions in the comments i love making videos like this since i love fashion if you would like to follow any of my other socials, um, I have Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest all under the same Wicked Bunnies username. So go check them out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this video. So heart, heart, and heart for you. And I'll see you around. Ta-ta!